The pumper bike arrived in a black holdall and weighed in at 14 kilograms. It came flat packed, so the first job was to get it assembled. As it took shape, it began to look like a real-world equivalent of a Star Wars speeder bike. And apparently, it has a potential top speed of 20 miles an hour in the water. I was quite excited about having a go. And I had a pumper bike expert, Mark, on hand to give me one-to-one -one tuition. Straighten your arms. As the front wing hits the, hits the water, yeah. push as hard as you can, keep your back straight and balance and just go in that general direction. Okay, on three. One, two, three, let's go. That's it, keep it, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Bounce, 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 bounce. Oh God, it's not going. I'm not sure that I look that great. And actually, that's, there's your first problem. You've got to bring it back in because you can't climb back onto it in the water. Time for go number two. And Mark had some more advice for me. If you're doing that, basically a lot of, a lot of energy is going off the back of you. A lot of energy is being wasted. You're using probably 20% of, of the energy you're putting into it. Whereas if you try and keep your back straight and on your toes, lift up, come down and then bounce up like Sort of like that action. Right. So I've got to make my pumps count. Yes. Make my pumps count. If you get the action right, the pumper bike works like a human hydrofoil. Jumping up and down creates lift and thrust at the rear foil. A spring linkage system allows this foil to move back and forth, which propels you several metres through the water each time you bounce. But you've got to get your bouncing spot on for this to work. <laughs> Over the summer, they sold 4,000 of these bikes, and apparently, it's very popular in Eastern Europe. It's being marketed as a fitness gadget. A study showed that three minutes on this bike gives you the same workout as two hours down the gym, and I was certainly starting to feel the burn. I was also starting to feel a little embarrassed as I bounced up and down furiously, pumping the thing along. I'd done enough pumping for the day. It was time to let the experts have a go and show what this bike could really do. They could certainly make it go faster, and one guy even managed to ride it backwards. But even these experienced pumpers still seem to fall off.